it wouldn't be made in New York City for us right now unless uh, Disney was making a building across the street so uh, it's continuing to grow um, it was windy out and it was uh, raining so you can kind of see some things at some of the upper floors acting little guy and like the meet, meet. cherry picker hey yeah um, there's a question in the chat when a board goes through one pick and place machine does it assemble it in one machine and then part of it in the other yeah so for with that for that board in particular because it's all LED so what we do is we have you know each board each pick and place has a certain number of nozzles yeah. and so we load that and many nozzles reels, versus yeah. reels on both and so because there's just, it's all LEDs and they take so long like a board with 144 LEDs it's like you can imagine there's a lot of yeah. LEDs and then what we do is we run the job through a computer that will um, tell us the most optimized way to um, load balance across the machines. Yeah. So usually what happens is you eventually have so many reels and you have one machine. Uh, one of our machines is faster than the other too. So we'll optimize. Uh, basically one of the pick and place machines is kind of like a NeoPixel <laughs> machine. Yeah. And then the other one will be things like, you know, chunky GPS modules. And, and stuff. it's totally like the traveling salesman problem. Like, but in a robot, like this is actually it. You're like, why am I learning about this theoretical graph solving yeah. optimization issue. This is it. This is it. This is the one. Okay.